All right, welcome back to another one of our film reviews. Today we are breaking down new Houston Texans guard Shaq Mason. I think Texans fans are going to really like this. Mason showed a lot in the preseason. I think he's going to be a lot better and a really nice addition for the Texans as we get ready for the regular season. As always, if you like this content, please give us a like. Please give us a comment below with any feedback you have. We really appreciate it. Or if there's a player you want us to break down, leave us a comment with that player as well. But all right, let's get into the film. All right, jumping right into this situation here, this is some run game action for the Houston Texans. Again, this is the Texans against the New Orleans Saints in the preseason. And we're going to open up with a zone to the field. I'm sorry, zone to the boundary here, the boundary being that direction, the field, of course, being that direction. And we're going to have a little zone run here, a little inside zone. So we're going to have the tackle zone out that direction. Basically, everybody's zoning out that way. But the key block here is going to be the zone, sort of zone double team, as I like to call them. And right here, you're going to want to cut off block here from the right tackle. And basically, you've got Mason, who's right here, working with the center to take care of the play side linebacker and the one technique slash nose guard right there, call him a one technique, because he's just on the outside shoulder of the center. And basically, what Pierce is going to want to do here is work this way and very quickly find a hole and get north-south. And so this has to be an impactful block right here on the nose guard by Mason. Let's see how he does. All right, let's watch him get that get off. Boom. That's awesome. Look at that displacement at the point of attack by Mason. I love the effort and the energy. Completely shields him off. Does a great job. You can you can look at the impact he helps cause because look at the center go flying here. Not ideal from 68. Keep your feet. But Shaq Mason, man, that's a really nice job. Coming off, getting downhill, delivering a blow. And you know how it's a really savvy veteran play? He's going to have his eyes on the linebacker 45 here, but he doesn't abandon the nose guard, right? He sits there and says, okay, if 45 flattens out and continues to work to the field, I got to deliver a punch on the nose guard, and that's exactly what he does. Watch Mason's eyes. He's looking, bang, and then delivers it. Does a great job. Because if you freeze it right here, right after he gives his contact, I talked about that cut up earlier. That's exactly what Damian Pierce is doing. He's going to work north and south. This is going to be a big play except for the right tackle. You've got to get this guy cut off or you have to wash him down and let the running back cut behind you. He does neither. And it ends up being not as good a play as it should have been. But if you look at Mason, this is an outstanding work. Physical, tough, and veteran, right? Check the linebacker, deliver a punch, seal him off. Really nice work by the veteran guard there. Yeah, Nick. And I feel like here, if 77 could have sealed off his block just a little bit better, this would have been a huge play for Pierce. We know he runs hard. He looked really great. But it's like you said, Mason, this is exactly what a young Texans team needs. Don't you think? A offensive line that's much transformed this season. There's a lot of guys on here who are uh, young rookies. And there's you know some veterans, but there's new faces to this team as well. It's just a team that really could use some of this veteran leadership that Shaq Mason brings to the right side of this line. I think he could be a big, big benefit to them, don't you think? Yeah, his veteran leadership for sure, but also his physicality. And we're going to show a few runs during this cut up here of Mason physically dominating people and creating big play opportunities in the running game, which will help that young guy out. Number seven, he run the ball well with Damian Pierce. That'll help number seven have a really nice rookie year. All right, staying with the running game here, the Houston Texans are going to do kind of a little student body right kind of action here where they're running a sweep with pierce here and everyone's just trying to reach everyone on the play side here you get the center working up to linebacker the guard's going to cut him off tackle is going to work up as well one of the key blocks here is obviously mason he has to reach this three technique right here on the outside shoulder of the guard call that a three technique if he can't reach him and cut him off he's got to stay with him and drive him upfield you don't see many people accomplish a reach block there that's really hard to do. Most of the time, it just gets stretched, and this guard's job is just to get movement. But watch what Mason does here. It's very, very impressive stuff. Again, you got the sweep action. Look at that cutoff right there. Completely sealed off at defensive tackle. I'm going to rewind that. This doesn't happen in the National Football League very much. Cut off behind the running back. That defensive tackle, that's a terrible job by that defensive tackle. That is, that's really, really bad. But on the flip side, that's a great job by Mason. And you can see Pierce see that and cut back. And after this play ends, we're going to go to the sideline view, and you guys are going to see exactly how big this hole is. Watch this. Again, you've got the toss. Look at this seam right here. That's incredible stuff. He gets bumped a little bit there. It still ends up being a good run of about five or six yards. But holy smokes. And you can see, look at all of the movement from the defense at the snap, right? Everyone's running that way. 
with the running back. And then Pierce sees that action, sees the hole open up, and he cuts back. And if he gets a little bit more, this is a chance to be an absolutely massive play for the Houston Texans. Doesn't quite work out the way they'd want just because it gets a piece of them, but it's still a really nice run. And again, you can see that space. And it's all because of Shaq Mason. He cuts it off and just creates this cavern right here. Great job by Mason. Yeah, Nate, and that's a move by Mason there to be able to scoop that guy out of the way like that. It takes practice, 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 a lot of reps and a lot of know-how veteran savviness to be able to identify that. And you know who had the most practice in the NFL last year, Nick? Shaq Mason. He played 1,200 snaps last year. That was first in the NFL. This guy's got plenty of experience under his belt. And I think that's huge. Isn't that 1,200 snaps? That's just ridiculous, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that's unbelievable numbers. I did not know that was that high. And look, this is a guy who's played football for a long time. His as a veteran leadership, his savviness, you see it all in his gameplay. His durability is also going to be a big uh, factor in his performance too. And while it's not like the most physically dominant block in the world, I tell you what, for people who aren't familiar with offensive line play, that is just that that's a cavern right there. And again, you can see everyone washed into the pile for the New Orleans Saints and the Houston Texans because everyone's reading sweep. Mason gets that guy cut off, and suddenly the big hole opens up. All right, switching gears to a little pass protection here. So what we're going to have from the Houston Texans is we're going to get man-on-man on the right side of the offensive line while the rest of the offensive line shifts the gap to the left, a very common scheme in the NFL. This is a tough situation for any guard to be one-on-one with a three technique. Again, three technique, outside shoulder of the guard there because he has a two-way go. He can go inside, he can go outside, and, and really he can go through you as well. This is a tough block to make. Watch what Mason does here. It's really great stuff. First of all, great punch to the outside shoulder right there. That'll immediately stop the momentum of the defensive line. Gets his hands on him and then drives him into the dirt. He stops his momentum. This guy doesn't really know what to do. He tries to counteract with a spin move. And Mason puts him in the ground. That's really good stuff. One-on-one block, a tough situation, and a total dominant performance from the veteran guard there. Great job by Mason. Yeah, Nick, that punch just looks lethal. And that's another thing, like you said, this guy, he brings physicality. He brings durability. But also, it looks here, he brings a little bit of nastiness. He's got that nasty punch. He finishes as a play into the ground. And like we talk about all the time, when you can drive another grown man into the ground like that, they start thinking about that. You know, it, it puts a little bit of doubt in their mind going against you for future reps. Don't you think this has, you know, a little bit of effect on this offensive defensive lineman matchup going forward? I tell you what, for a team that obviously wasn't very good last year, that has a lot of you know young guys, obviously they've got some veteran guys in some spots too, but generally this is a young football team. Having a veteran with this kind of nastiness and energy, that picks up the entire squad because that's awesome. That's film room stuff. Just pummel them into the dirt. Assert your dominance. That's great stuff by Mason. It'll affect the rest of the game, but it'll also affect the mentality of the football team. Counteract the spin and bury them. Nice job. All right, going back to the run game here, the Texans are running a kind of design cutback situation here. And what you're going to get is you're going to get base blocks on this side here between the tackle and the guard. You're going to get double team between the center and the left guard to 45, that linebacker. You're going to get a double team right here between 84, the tight end, and the left tackle up to that linebacker. And you're going to see number 40 work across and kick out the end man on the line of scrimmage. It's going to be kind of a design cutback. You're going to see Pierce work this way and then immediately work that way to try and get in this seal here. And now you've got a lot of double teams in these spots, but really important blocks are right here, these base blocks, and specifically Masons. Because if there's any sort of penetration at all, and this is a tough block, one-on-one. Again, this guy is a two-way go. He can go outside, he can go inside, and really, like I said before, he can go through you. Tough situation, one-on-one. You've got to body him up, cover him up, and get some good movement to let your fullback clear and let the running back have a clear cutback. Let's see how Mason does here. Shocks him, buries him, drives him back. Nice job. Again, it doesn't look incredibly impressive, but I tell you what, that's a really hard block. He covers him up, bases him up, and then keeps driving. Look how it clears up the picture for the running back. Again, he works that way, makes it a nice, easy read. Because again, if number 90 had penetration or was right here, 40 would potentially have to widen his path to get to this cutback. Pierce would have to alter his path a little bit. Instead, it's an easy, clean read for 40 and 31. Big hole is visible. 
big run. Right, because the easiest blocks in this situation are these double teams, and they're pretty well executed on that side. Everyone gets on their guy. Nice run. Great execution. I tell you what, there's a lot of really well-designed runs from this Houston Texans offense. I think they're going to run for a lot of yards this season with this kind of stuff up front. But it starts with having a bully like Mason dominating like that. That's a great rep from the veteran guard. Yeah, Nick. And we see last play, Mason drives number 90 into the dirt, completely dominates him physically. This play, he negates him from the play. He wipes him off. No one's even thinking about 90. And you think, okay, what does this even matter? This is a preseason game against nobody. This is probably third string, you know, defensive lineman. Well, you would be wrong. That number 90 is first round draft pick Brian Brees, 30th overall pick by the Saints from Clemson. Nick, how impressive is it that just a young talent like that Mason's coming out, you know, first reps in a new offense on as a new offensive lineman for this team this season, coming out and doing work against a bona fide first round draft pick. Well, especially since this rookie talking about uh, Bruce here, he's a run stopper, right? That's what he was at Clemson. We followed a lot of Clemson, his time there. He was a physical guy at the point of attack. He was the guy that his draft profile was he could disrupt these kind of plays. The fact that Mason, again, the savvy vet, the bully guy up front doing a great job, is able to completely negate him here is a testament to what Mason's going to bring to his offense because they're not going to be too many defensive tackles that are a lot better than that guy to Clemson because he was really good in college at stopping this kind of play. But Mason was able to clearly win that one. All right. Again, the Texans doing some really great stuff up front in terms of play design. You're seeing a very similar concept here, but to the other side, you're going to get base blocks here between the left tackle and left guard. You're going to get double team action here up to the linebacker, and you're going to get kind of a double team action here to this linebacker. But what they do here with the fullback is really cool. And what they do with Pierce is really cool as well. They kind of slow play it. So the fullback kind of slow plays it, then kicks this guy out. Pierce kind of slow plays it and then goes that way into the seal here. But I tell you what, watch this double team. This is great stuff from Mason. Double team, buries him, drives him back, get on the linebacker. That is awesome stuff. Look at this movement here at the point of attack between these two guys led by Mason. He drives him back. He lets, Look how deep Pierce gets before he has to make his cut. By deep, I mean penetrating the defense here. Oh, my goodness. It's unbelievable. We have to go to the wide copy here. Let's play it out from the sideline here in a second. Look where the line of scrimmage is. It's about just inside the 10, right? You can see this double team. Look where they drive him back. All the way back to the five, past the five. That's five yards of movement at the point of attack. Who's This guy's right here. His whole job is to not get moved. He makes an NFL team because he cannot get moved. These two, double, these two offensive linemen, led by, of course, by Mason, they move him out of the way like he's nothing. Look where Pierce... Look how deep Pierce gets in the line of scrimmage. He's three yards past the line of scrimmage before he has to make his cut. Holy sm Like, that's crazy good stuff up front. Great job uh, by the tackle and tight end, too. Look at this. Look at this movement. Look at this wedge that's formed. Offensive line coaches will love this. Look at that, Mice. Oh, my goodness gracious. Fullback kicks him out. This kind of physicality up front, this kind of execution, Damian Pierce may run for 2,000 yards. C.J. Stroud may win Rookie of the Year because he won't have to do too much. That's awesome stuff, and it starts with Mason. First of all, I commend the Texans for having a running back or a fullback uh, blocking for the running back. Always love a team who can throw a nice fullback in there. But, Nick, look at Mason. The thing I noticed, he is chopping those feet. He's pounding. He's driving a really high-energy play here. And this is a guy, this isn't some rookie coming in here. This guy that's probably in his eighth season of the NFL, he's 30 years old, and he's out here, and he's still playing like a young man. He's not a guy that has, you know, a ton of miles on him. We said he played 1,200 snaps last season. He's got a lot of miles on those legs. But this is a guy who's renewed. He's got vigor. He's got energy. How impressive is it? Just this feels like for an offensive lineman, at least, this is a really high-energy play. Well, it's one thing that he obviously came from the Patriots, right? They they only get off, they only go after professional kind of guys, guys who carry themselves competitors. And of course, Tom Brady wanted him to join uh, join Tampa for another title run last year. If the Patriots and Bill Belichick want you, and then Tom Brady wants you, that's usually a really good sign. And those two guys, only one offensive lineman who have energy and toughness. That's what Mason has in spades. All right, we're going to wrap this up with the pass protection here in the red zone, and this is just something I really like about Mason here. 
understanding what he needs to do in a situation. Again, you're in the red zone. You want to make sure your young rookie quarterback, great legs, great athlete, great vision. You want to make sure he has no pressure in his face. You want to give him all the opportunities to step up. That's what I love about Mason, his mentality and pass protection. See how he forces this defensive lineman to the outside? Maybe, maybe gets away with a little bit of a hold there. I don't think so. I think it's good. No call. But again, I want to just focus on the strategy he's got with these guys. Forces C.J. Stroud to have no pressure in his face. The one thing that rookie quarterbacks struggle with, and we see it all the time, and I see it really affect some rookies in situations where they're not familiar with, is having guys right in their face, especially defensive tackles. All quarterbacks face that at some point because not everybody has great guards. But if you got a guy like Mason here who understands that, forcing guys outside, again, look at the throw right here. Was that three, three and a half yards to the right of Stroud? Even if he starts turning the corner here, it has no effect on C.J. Stroud's release. This ends up being a touchdown for the Texans because he has such a clean pocket, able to read it, hit him in stride, six points. Again, if you're able to drive people off the ball in the run game and force these defensive linemen wide in the pass game, but the way the Texans will play, they will be extremely successful. Again, their offensive coordinator is from San Francisco. They like doing this kind of things and let the quarterback step up and hit crossing patterns. The one way you can beat that as a defense is to get pressure right up the middle in the quarterback's face. If you force defensive linemen wide, allows the quarterback to step up, allows the quarterback to see it clearly and make an easy throw to an open guy. That's what we see here. What we've seen from Shaq Mason and the Texans offense on this drive is exactly what they're going to look for the entire regular season. And if they get performances like this from the guard, this offense will be a lot better than people think.